Felicity, it, it, it really made me sick to my stomach. I got news from some friends in Charlottesville on Sunday that neighborhoods had been targeted with anti-Semitic flyers on Saturday. And just to kind of, just the timing of this. So in the middle of January, uh, we celebrate Virginia passing the statute of religious freedom, which is the precursor to the First Amendment, guaranteeing people the right to worship or not as they please without preference or fear of punishment. Virginia really kind of gave this idea to the world that became a court of the First Amendment. And there are many scholars who say that the American Constitution was a great borrowing job. We borrowed the best ideas from others, but one of the real original parts of the American Constitution was this protection of religious liberty. So this matters to our country and it really should matter to all Virginians because the idea of religious freedom and religious liberty really originated with us. Second, the, the very week these flyers were distributed around Charlottesville to frighten people was International Holocaust Remembrance Day, a few days before the Saturday where these flyers were distributed. And this is the time during the year when we reflect upon the, uh, the, the, the apex of anti-Semitism in the history of the world, the Holocaust where six million Jews and others were killed because of who they are, because of how they worship. When I saw the news about these anti-Semitic flyers, it just it just recalled that, you know, we we are far too along in our development um, as a nation that respects the religions of all to allow things like this to go unchallenged, and so that's why I put out a statement yesterday, highlighting but challenging this, and and it, we really have to put on the shoulders. Uh, obviously, our Jewish friends and neighbors, they'll speak for themselves, but they need allies. They need people who, who will speak out and for them and stand against hate, and particularly those of us in public life have to do it. This is also a particular challenge because there's scar tissue in Charlottesville from the Unite the Right rally in August 2017. A lot of people saw that rally and sort of it was a, ostensibly about Confederate statues. Why were people marching, though, outside synagogues and chanting Jews will not replace us and other statements that were vilely anti-Semitic. Um, it's because there is a there is a core kind of in the in these right-wing protests that tends to be extremely anti-Semitic, the group that claimed credit, if, if if that's the right word for these flyers in Charlottesville, is a is a right-wing hate group that preaches discrimination and bigotry against Jewish Americans and others. And so it's just really important that we stand against it. And we find ways in our own lives to link arms with our Jewish friends and neighbors and speak out against hate of all kinds.